Then there's people, you know, that play their whole life and will never get a hole in one. And that sucks. Um, but I'm here to tell you there's hope. We are awesome dads, okay husbands, and terrible golfers. We dive into golf, fatherhood, and life. This is the Breakfast Balls Podcast. Nailed it. Welcome to episode 74 of the Breakfast Balls Podcast with your hosts, Mark Budden and Chris Laporta. What? what? What's good, Mark? You know, everything's good. Yeah. Uh, we, we've been uh, we've been off for a little bit over a week. Yeah. Um, came back from Vegas. So needed a minute. We, we needed, needed a minute. We needed a breather. <clears throat> um, had a had a good Vegas trip. Played some golf. Did some gambling. Did some pool time. Um, I think we had one good dinner while we were there. I think I, ate, I think all I ate was one meal while I was there. Yeah, we pretty much ate. I ate one meal, which consisted of steak. The rest consisted of day old Little Caesars pizza. Oh, good point. Then two days old Little Caesars pizza, <laughs> and then three day old three little day Caesar old pizza. Little Caesars pizza. That's uh, a lot of that's a lot of pizza left over. We had a lot of pizza. Um, we went to bed pretty early considering we were in Vegas. Yeah. A couple of nights where we were just like a couple of nights there were just done by the one the pool night, the pool day, we were done by like eight o'clock. Well, the lights pool out. day lights out. We put a lot of energy into those hours at the pool. Yeah. But so. yeah, overall, good trip. I'm glad to be back in the good old state of Illinois. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Vegas. Good. Um, <laughs> uh, son turned two. That was good. Oh yeah. We had your son's birthday when we got back. And, but now I got gout. Yeah. You got a little, you had a little byproduct of uh, your two week long bender there. Yeah. Apparently when bender. you get older, you just can't do that. And if you drink heavily and don't drink enough water, there's a chance you could get gout. Yeah. It's not an infectious disease um, by any means. It's uh, it's just where you get this inflammation and pain within uh, your toe, my big right toe. So I can't walk. <laughs> so that's not good. Oh, <laughs> so, I mean, we got we had what, you know three solid days of drinking in in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, came back and we started. We had a golf outing, <clears throat> your son's birthday, and then we had the Bears game. And, you know, you followed a, a heavy weekend of drinking up with a heavy weekend of drinking, pretty right. much. And um, we kind of left you where you're at today, which is you, you've got gout, which I've is got, the, I've got gout. Historically, yeah. is the fat, rich man's disease. Well, I got one of those covered. Um, <laughs> and as you can tell by my drop ceiling behind me, it's not the rich man portion. <laughs> oh, my, shit. My drops. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You, so you get it from eating shrimp cocktail in bed every night. You know, I'm not a huge shrimp cocktail guy. And I was thinking back. I got it. the doc asked me this, too. Is, Isn't it a seafood thing? It, it, it can it be. be. That's yeah. one of the things he asked me if I had like a influx of seafood walk, and, walk well, me through your doctor's appointment how did that conversation um, go well you know they asked the, some of those basic questions like you know do you exercise do you do this and i'm like how the fuck am i supposed to exercise when i can't walk <laughs> i can't I, move i could walk would i exercise is that what he meant um i don't know what he meant but you know then the question you know do you drink do you smoke uh and so I answered yes to drinking. Um, he's like, well, how much? And I'm like, you know, a couple, couple a day sometimes. <laughs> Just a couple. He's like, well, do you have any, uh, do you smoke? And I'm like, no, no, no smoking. Um, ask me about um, any stress, any new stresses in my life. Um, 
Do you have yeah. any? No. And he's like, well, any unusual activity lately? I'm like, uh, what well, describe know. unusual. It's like, <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, so in my head, I go, oh, I went to Vegas. That, that should count for something, probably. Yeah. Did you tell him? I did. Um, were, you like oh, embar- okay. were you embarrassed? Were you embarrassed on the, the doctor's appointment? No, at this stage of my life, no. I'm not no. embarrassed. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just this. This is all you get. This is it, this is it all. This yeah. is everything. So then it was like, well, so then I was th- in my head, I didn't go into as much detail as I am doing right now, but I'm like, shit, I went Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, in Vegas, took Sunday off, but then I think we would, you know, it was travel day. So then Monday was labor day. So, oh yeah, we had beers. Mo- we did have beers Monday. That's I right. Beers mm-hmm. Monday. Um, you guys came over and we had beers Monday. That's didn't right. on Tuesday or Wednesday. I mean, I say I didn't, I might've had a glass of wine or two, but yeah, it doesn't count. And then Thursday came and it was opening day of football. So I'm like. Yeah, beers. I have a couple of beers, and then Friday we had an out, we had a memorial right. outing, and we had a lot one one trillion Coors Lights, one trillion Coors Lights, and some Dr Pepper and rum slushies. Yeah, delightful. Those are you know, if you're looking for a new drink, that's it. That's and you're at one. and you're in a Wally's gas station in the middle of nowhere. Grab yourself a Dr Pepper slushie and a little rum. Yep. Done deal. Done. Done. So game over. Um, yeah. And then Saturday was my son's birthday. Oh yeah. We had beer Saturday. <laughs> Sunday was the bears game and they had a night game. So, and then I'm thinking back, I'm like, I don't even know if I drank any water ever. <laughs> it was the last time I had water. I was wasn't like, surrounded by hops. Right. That wasn't like with ice and vodka. Um, but and I'm thinking back, like, yeah, I usually drink water. I just hadn't been. <laughs> Guys, like, do you drink a lot of soda? I'm like, oh, God, no. I outside don't. of that, outside of those Dr. Pepper slushies, I yeah, had that might have, you know, that might have had a diabetes. soda in a long time. That might have given me diabetes, but yeah, um, yeah, he's like, do you drink soda? You drink like a lot of Gatorades or something? I'm like, because he was asking about like sugar intake, and I'm like, no. I don't drink that shit. Uh, I yeah. drink Gatorade every now and then, but nothing. It's not like I drink three of those a day or anything. Right, exactly, exactly. I, you know, maybe one or two a week. I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, I think we, so we pretty much narrowed it down to my alcoholism and lack of water. Probably some to do with my overall health and weight. So um, what's the prognosis here? What's the... Prognosis is just give it time to heal, drink a shit ton of water, stop drinking so heavily. So that's why you're not drinking tonight while we're recording. Maybe just eating right. So I'm not drinking. It might be the first out of 74 that I haven't been drinking uh, something. Uh, So I'm drinking a LaCroix, something with a little flavor and a little bubble. Chris obviously is drinking, which is good. He should be. Yeah. I don't have the gout. Anyway, so yeah, I got gout and then... uh, (laughs) Yeah, today it happened again. Um, I don't oh. know what I don't know what episode it was. Uh, it was about maybe last there. year. We're going there. I'm going in. I'm going right now. Um, you know, there's some people in life that you know hit a hole in one, and it's the greatest thing. And they, you know, you do it once in your life, and you play golf, and that's just such a huge accomplishment, right? And there's people, you know, that play their whole life and will never get a hole in one, and that sucks. Um, but I'm here to tell you there's hope. Um, today, I successfully uh, hit another car while moving. So for the listeners out there that have been with us, this is the second time in the last year and a half that I have hit a moving vehicle while playing golf. Uh, you, d- you think that would be impossible. People could go their whole lives without ever hitting a moving car. Um, You've done it twice. And I've done it twice in about a, in less than in less than a year and a half. It's a fucking modern day miracle. You know, I mean, it really is. That the talent, the talent that you need to be able to do something like that is incredible. You know, it's a moving target. 
You've done it twice. I, it's hard enough to hit a stationary golf ball, and you want me to hit said golf ball and then use that golf ball to hit a moving vehicle. It's impressive. Cause damage. I'm not even upset. Vehicle. I'm impressed. Well, I'm upset because it costs me money every time I do this. Um, and as you can imagine, a fast moving golf ball uh, traveling at a fast moving uh, motor vehicle could cause some damage. Cause some damage, yeah. And it so does. What, what happened today? Well, let, let me walk, let me walk through the, the <laughs> with my recollection of everything. Mm -hmm. And then you can take me back, take the listeners back to, <laughs> to, to what happened. So we're, we're on hole 10, which runs up uh, next to a pretty busy road in the area here. And um, we're all hit our tee shots. Usually the, the play usually is you hit your tee shot onto this road, ran road. Um, that's, that's usually what happens. Uh, the second shot could also go that way. Mark hit his ball to the, to the right onto the, I think the 15th fairway. He had a, actually a good shot in. Great shot. Playing the, playing the odds, you know, yeah. playing down the incorrect fairway. Been over there plenty of times. You, you, if you're far enough right, you have a look up over mm -hmm. the trees onto the green. Mark I I think had that look. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe pulled the ball a little bit. I didn't see the actual shot, but I know we got up to the green. We couldn't find your ball. You didn't think it went over. So we're looking. Um, needless to say, you, you took the drop and moved on to the next hole. Mm-hmm. We're on the tee box, waiting to waiting to tee on the par three hole number eleven, and uh, John, our uh, pro, comes flying up in the golf cart with a notepad. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? What is John? Do? What is John doing? And uh, he's like, uh, did you guys hit a ball on the Rand Road? I'm like, um, you know, I'm not really sure. We couldn't find Mark's ball. We didn't. I didn't say this. We were just thinking, like, uh -huh. couldn't, we couldn't find the ball. I'm like looking back on Mark. I'm like, all right, I don't know. Uh, he's like, well, yeah, uh, hit a windshield. Uh, just now the guy pulled in. You guys were on 10. Uh, anyone playing an AVX2? And uh, it's uh, the ball Mark was playing, uh, needless ball. to say. So we found his ball, went through the guy's windshield. Um, I, I, had a, I had a lot of emotions when John said that. I was laughing hysterically. I also felt really bad for Mark. Uh, not only because I knew this was going to cost him dearly, um, but it was the second time it happened. <laughs> it's just like, I cannot believe this is fucking happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, the guy, the guy, Mark, Mark Budden steps up to the T on 11 and fucking sticks one right next to the pin. The guy is unflappable. Just fucking Flappable. finds out he hits a car. Yeah. Five footer birdie made it. <laughs> Next hole. Birdies, birdies 11 onto the next one. Next hole. Um, so that was, that was, that's how it played out for me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, what you felt when you, when you heard John, um, when, when you heard John say uh, AVX2. Uh, devastation um, set in. Um, denial. You know, there's a lot of the stages of grief. Um, yeah. Sadness. Um, and then, you know, I, you're right. I'm unflappable. Just put it behind me and stuck it. Yeah. Um, but good news. I got that ball back. You did. Got it back. The driver whom I hit while moving. Um, I'll get into conspiracy theory here in a moment. Um, stopped to pick up the ball. Um, to As evidence in said um, supposed um, windshield incident. So I have a conspiracy theory that he was just parked. He was at the red light, already had this hole in his windshield. Saw a golf ball bouncing, you know, just kind of bouncing and then rolling off to the side. Picks up the golf ball and said, here's my chance. I'm driving into this golf course. I'm going to blame it on them. What makes you think that? I, you know, just, just a hunch. Did you see the car? I've seen pictures. You have. Mm -hmm. John took pictures for me. He did. Mm -hmm. John's a John's a great. John took pictures for you. He's a fella. He got all this uh, this, this couple's name and number. Okay. So what did what did the pictures? The pictures look like a golf ball hit it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's no there's no <laughs> doubt the golf ball hit it. Yeah. So you could there's really... no proof that it was my golf ball that hit it. 
Did they get any witnesses? I'm I'm going to be out looking for witnesses <sighs> to corroborate my conspiracy theory. Were you in the vicinity of Rand Road and the golf course at approximately 1.30? Probably wasn't 1.30, maybe 1 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Did you see a golf ball bouncing? Well, Just a thought. It's a hunch. Think, you think coincidentally another you got hit by another golf ball? Yeah, at a different different point in life. Oh, and they, they a month ago, left, and they just left the windshield. Yeah, and they they were waiting yeah. for an opportunity. They took it. They found me, and they're they're exploiting me for it now. Oh man! Oh man! Harmless ball, probably just just trickled over the fence. So did John roll gently? The John rolled gently the on the Rand Road, and they picked it up. What's that? Did John have the ball for you? Oh How'd yeah, you he had the ball. ball. He had the ball for you. They gave him the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I got the ball. You gotta back. frame that fucking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I lost it on a different what? hole, so it's yeah. fine. Dad, what's that? Uh, that's my. Uh, that's the second time I hit a car, son. <laughs> uh, so, so coincidentally enough, I kept the one the first the first time I did it. I mean, I've eventually, I think I've lost it since, but yeah, uh, I had it. Oh, he gave it, it back to you on the course. I thought I thought you didn't have it. He had it with him. Oh, well, the first time or the second time? The second time. The second time, no, he gave it to me after the round. He after the round, the okay, house. okay. Anyway, so here we go again. Um, just paying for people's you know, brand new cars. Um, <laughs> oh my god! So how, you've been you've been communicating with uh, the fella, uh, through right? a translating service. Um, the first call was very unsuccessful. Um, uh, it doesn't they don't speak? English? They don't speak English. Okay. Uh, literally, uh, his, somehow his brother got on the line. I'm not sure how. Uh, again, all part of the conspiracy, but okay um got Buy, on the line buying into it now yeah got on the line and told me that he would translate um on behalf of his brother okay you know, so um at first it was i was like yeah you gotta submit a claim um i, I can't physically submit it because it wasn't my car involved in the accident so i can't do it i know all these rules from last time <laughs> I've, been, I've done this before guy trust me <sighs> so i was like you need to go get a quote um through your insurance yeah. and then like this is like ma less than an hour later again all part of the conspiracy i get a quote back from the dealer that again fast? makes me think that they already had this quote that they already had it they had the quote because they already had the damage they wanted to see how much it was going to cost them so they got it they had it um all part of the conspiracy but <laughs> Uh, I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm paying that much for a windshield. Um, and like I said, is this the quote that your insurance, the place your insurance guy made you go? And they're like, no, it's not. We don't want to go through our insurance because we like to go to the dealer. We don't like to go to the place the insurance company sends us. And I'm like, well, what? Again, all part of the conspiracy. Yeah, that's well, not no gonna, shit you don't like to. You go into your buddy down the road but this is all part of the scam and he's going to pocket a bunch of money yeah he's going to charge him whatever it is like 500 bucks and he's going to pocket the rest it's a scam he takes some they take the other all part of their scam so you don't think you hit the car at all oh, just... i have no idea yeah. but um <laughs> it's all part of my conspiracy that i'm working with oh my god man so i told them i'm not paying you out of pocket without your insurance company being involved that would be silly that would be silly of me yeah It'd be very naive of me just to pay someone that much money out of my pocket um without doing the, the proper channels so i said i'll gladly assist once you have a quote and i've talked to your insurance company what'd they say they finally acquiesced and said they they'd be in touch we'll go through the insurance so if i don't hear from them they they're either they don't have car insurance and then they're fucked on their own because you shouldn't be out driving if you don't have car insurance Correct. it's against the law so yeah if i don't hear from them um i'm gonna say i got them on their scam i'll be proud of you and if i do hear from them and everything i'll just pay accordingly <laughs> <laughs> karma it's karma yeah. Oh, this is incredible, man. 
Yeah, but I, I'm I'm willing to bet that these scam artists aren't going to get back to me. You think? You think they're just going to let it go? Uh, there's move on a to the part next, of me. Move on to the next I day. We'll never hear from them again. Yeah, that'd be great. Nicole wouldn't be so upset with you then. Your yeah, wife. She's was... still probably going to be upset with me, but um, <laughs> wasn't Mark, a pleasant conversation today. Mark, you can't. You can't play golf by roads anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's not really, it really makes sense if you, got, uh, if you think about it. How did this conversation go? Well, I just flat out came out with it. And she just kind of looks at me with that, <laughs> you, that, that look that you know, she's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you fucking shitting me? Like, right look, now? you disgust me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It was one of those, Why is my husband so bad at golf? Yeah, I was waiting for like you're you can't you shouldn't play golf. You suck. You're hitting motorized vehicles that aren't on the course. And I'd be like, you're right. I don't have a comeback other than Mwah. you know. She was just one of those death stares where it's just like uh, you, you're, you're pathetic. One pathetic just loser. One pathetic loser. Yeah. So. Oh man! And yeah, she's not happy. Sorry, brother. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you hit a hole in one. Sometimes you hit a car. Twice. Mm hmm. It's amazing. Like, why can't hit the tire? You just <laughs> bounce off. Well, that's the first time you hit. You didn't actually hit the window, right? You hit the. I hit the the uh, passenger side door. <laughs> Put a nice crater in the car. I was 60 yards out and hit a 60 degree wedge about oh, 140. I mean, uh, just bladed the hell out of it. You had a tough, you had a tough shot there. Um, the, you had a tough angle going into the green on this one. I'm not justifying you hitting the it car. Was a bad, it was just a bad shot. I it knew it was a bad I, shot. You know, but there was, I, there... I blame it on the number. Someone gave me a number. It could have been a bad number. That's all I'm saying. Um, could have been, it could have been a, another conspiracy there you could be working with them yes you caught me you caught me you, you caught gave me. me the wrong number in hopes i'm getting i'm gonna get two take, i'm getting 250 dollars out of this deal that's it yeah. that's all you're getting 250 just to give you the wrong number i'll pay you 250 to to be the whistleblower go <laughs> on just break open the scam we'll get you immunity don't worry oh man Oh man, I, there's there's probably I can't I don't know how many balls going in that rub every week, but it's probably a lot. Yeah, I I would love to hear from um, anyone at your club at how many times this has happened. Yeah, I'm gonna ask John. I bet he I bet he's got a good sense of it. It's definitely um, not the first. Definitely won't be the last. They should think about netting um, that goes back there. Maybe putting some taller shrubbery or trees so that I don't do this again. There used to be a lot of trees there. They cut a, they cut a bunch down. Not the uh, not the club, but the uh, power company. Power company did it was run into the fucking power lines. Yeah, yeah, it was Just real smart. Protection real there. smart planning. Let's plant trees right under the power lines. Wonder what'll happen in ten uh, years. I'm guessing those trees were there long before the power lines were. How long does it take them for a mature a tree to grow like that? Man, it takes like fifty years, doesn't it? Longer? No. If you get that big? Twenty tops okay uh, i don't know maybe longer yeah anyways don't blame the trees uh i blame you i, I think we've established that <laughs> so is that, is that your conclusion is that what you wanted to end with that you're blaming me for this mm -hmm. okay completely I'm, your fault. I'm gonna take zero responsibility <laughs> so yeah, that's fair luck with that mm -hmm. um that's uh yeah, man I, you know it's fucking hilarious yeah <laughs> I, i'm i'm sure from an outsider's perspective it's just hilarious it's, it's great it's hilarious it's just hilarious it's yeah it's troubling i just would have i you would have what you're a better man than I am. I don't know that if I, I don't know that I could have had the balls to walk up to my wife and told her I hit her car again <laughs> right away. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I just uh, felt like I, emasculated. Nelly probably tore me a new one. I think Nicole's a little bit nicer than Nelly when it comes to that stuff. Maybe. 
Yeah. And they're uh, like, you fucking loser. <laughs> I'm going to sell your fucking golf clubs. Oh, God. You losing piece of shit. Maybe no, that she would never. She's never talked to me like that ever or never would. But M- maybe my I think, wife should I would have been that. scared. I would have been scared. I think maybe I she been, should take my clubs. I would have been scared to tell Natalie. Not because she would have reacted negatively. I just would have been scared and embarrassed to tell her, I think. Yeah. I, again, I think it's just that uh, maybe it's because I got gout. I'm just like, <laughs> this is. It, this is what happened. I go, I, I go, you're not going to fucking believe this. <laughs> but I hit a car again. And she just looks up. She's like. And I'm like, I'm like, I know. I'm so fucking pissed. I go, I go, this isn't normal. No, people don't <laughs> hit a golf ball into moving cars. This isn't normal. I go, I go this, this is fucking normal. ridiculous. She's probably thinking like, dude, just stop playing golf. You're you're gonna cost us thousands of dollars. And I was like, I, it's gonna cost me about 25, 30 grand to go to a therapist if I don't have golf. Yeah, so that's fair. you want me to start you, doing that instead? You, you do the math, sweetie. Yeah. She probably like, yes, go quit golf, go to therapy. The therapy. We'll find a way. <laughs> we'll find a way. We'll make it work. No, it'll be cheaper. Just go to therapy. I'll get a second job. I don't even want a first job. Um, Yeah, that's... um, Oh, man. I don't know. It's golf. Golf sucks. Let me give you a hug. Feels like you need one. Big hug. Yeah, tap on the shoulder. Give me a double tap on the shoulder. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, brother. Well, we uh, we got the Ryder Cup coming up. Oh yeah, they play in that this year, huh? Yeah, next, okay. uh, next the the twenty twenty Ryder Cup, twenty third through the twenty fifth. Yes, uh, just just north of the border 26th. here yeah. in uh, in where what is it? Kohler, Whist- Kohler, Wisconsin. Whistling Straits. Whistling Straits. I'm guessing they're playing the Straits of course. It's the championship of course. Yeah. No, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you, you what do you think of the team? I don't give a fuck about the US, the European team. What do you think of the U.S. team? Um, oh, I mean, I think I think there's a uh, like there is every year. There's controversy surrounding the team, and you just never you never hear that coming out of the European side. There's never controversy with the European team. They've got rock solid staples every year. Um, you know, you got Ian Poulter, you got Sergio mm-hmm. Garcia, you got Lee Westwood. You know, you've just got you've got some consistency there year in and year out. Those guys get along. They know how to play team golf. Um, I mean, just the 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 record speaks for itself. I think they've won five of the last fucking six Ryder Cups. Mm-hmm. You know, and every year we have this fucking dilemma with who to pick for the U.S. and um, you know, again, we've got, I think we've got, we've got the best, we've got the best players on paper. No question That's about it. Good way to put it. Right. No question about it. You look at the world rankings, look at how they finished in the PGA this year. No, you can't argue that. You can't argue. You don't have the best players on paper. Do you have the best team? It, it's hard to fucking know, man. Yeah. It's frustrating. Like, uh, you know, again, you got you got Brooks coming out and saying shit, the stupid shit he said this week already. It's just like, if you don't want, if you, if you don't like it, why are you playing? It's just, it's just, just like, what? a turd. He's I mean, they, turd. they're all you know, turds. It's just like, oh God. I mean, Bryson's, Bryson's fucking doing long drive competition like the day after the Ryder Cup ends. So he's training for that right now. Mm-hmm. They're, just se- they're just selfish human beings. Yeah. Playing in the Ryder Cup. I can't say that for everyone. I'm sure Colin Morikawa, Justin Thomas, Tony Finau, um, you know, they're, they're rearing to go. Right. But then you have this controversy around Brooks and Bryson again, and it's not even, it's not even Brooks versus Bryson. It's Bryson's fucking swinging 230 miles an hour training for long drive. And Brooks is bitching about playing team golf. (laughs) You know, it's just like, what the fuck, man? What? If, if you guys don't want to, if you guys don't want to give it your all for four days or, and a week of a week of golf uh, with Team USA, let someone else participate that's going to want to do it. They might be a lesser golfer, but 
they're probably going to be better for the team at the end of the event. Right. Maybe, maybe you give, maybe you give some of the other guys a, a more shot, more chances to play. I think the roster is good though. I mean, I like, I'm a big Harris English fan. Um, I like some of the captain's picks. I mean, Tony Finau, no brain, no brainer captain's pick. Um, I think Scotty Shuffer's a sneaky good pick. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I actually think they have some, they have some really, really deep talent at the U S level. What are your thoughts on them not taking Patrick Reed? Again, that's tough, man. You know, he's, it's captain America. It's one of those guys. Like, I think you just automatically take regardless of how he's done this year, kind of like what the Europeans do. Right. They, they know what guys they're going to bring every year. As long as those guys are still playing competitive golf, they're on the Ryder Cup team. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the thing I was like with Patrick Reed, dude was just in the hospital with double pneumonia. Yeah. Um, no, I know. And, and that's, <laughs> I, think that, I think that weighed into the decision, right? He, I, I would hope it would. Maybe he, maybe he just like, I can't, I can't physically do it yet. Right? Maybe he's, maybe he called, maybe I'm sure him and Stricker had a heart to heart. Right, like no, he said he he just got he didn't he just got the call that he didn't make it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's what he said. I must have missed that. So him and Stricker didn't talk at all. He just got the call that he didn't make the team. Right. So what like he, that, they, right, they didn't have a discussion about whether he could do it or not. Right. That's it. Was Stricker's decision not to do it? That's interesting. Because and I'm pretty sure he mentioned that just because he hasn't been playing much golf because he is in. Uh, um in the hospital with double pneumonia yeah did so he have, did it come on said he did he have covid i don't know if it was covid okay yeah yeah the thing with captain america though i was just like you know he got that early on his actually record the last what is it the last writer in the last president's cup isn't good, that good he had a good president's cup uh i don't think so no i don't think so i think he was like one in three in the president's cup we get R and D in that. Yeah, that's he should. He didn't do good at the last Ryder Cup. I remember that. He was one and two, I think. One of the Presidents Cup 20, 2019. 2019. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, that was my thought. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't have been upset if they picked him. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I was fine with it. Kis- the Kisner one was kind of catching me a little off guard. I was like, he had a an okay year, but I didn't think he would be in consideration. And people were, unless he they just think he'd be good for the team aspect. And I guess if that's their, um, I was like, if that's their their spiel about him, then okay, that I can probably understand. But like golf wise, he, he, yeah, he wasn't. He didn't, get, he didn't get picked though. No, he didn't. But there was no. there was. Um, yeah, we talked about this before. There was yeah. that push for him to yeah to be in the right. I think he's a fucking douchebag, actually. And I I don't think he's that good of a golfer. <laughs> yeah, I I think he's I'm a major. He is. I think he's a huge douchebag. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah. You know, that's I he he, had, well, he won one event where it was him and forty other shitty professional golfers. If that <laughs> makes any sense? That's an oxymoron. But there was no one in that tournament that he won. I, I was just like, I, I don't really worry about that one. I was like, if he would have played better, he probably would have been picked. I think it would be that simple. But you think the U.S. is going to win? Uh, <laughs> I I don't. I think they just got too much baggage going on with yeah. Dickhead saying he doesn't want to play uh, in team, doesn't like team golf. Um, then don't play, man. Just turn it down. You know, I don't maybe can't turn it down where he finished. I don't know how that works. I've got to imagine he could have said my wrist hurts. I don't want to play. Exactly. He could have said easily it. got out of it that way. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know if they win, man. He's just like the shit he said is like, you, you know, like I, I, I finished my round. I do it. I do what I'm supposed to do. And then it's up to the rest of the guys. And he's like, oh, if we're playing alternate shot, right? I can't control what that guy does. And he leaves me in a bad position. That's not the fucking. It's, stop making it about you, you bag of dicks. Yeah, that I, you know? that's, that's just so who he is, man. Yeah, I um, hate it. I, I, <laughs> I hate it. I but I get your point. It. You know, if you don't really want don't want to do it, I bet you, you can get out of it. Like you could just call Stricker and be like, "Dude, I just, I just, this ain't for me. I can't do it." Yeah, I don't like it. But I don't think he would do that. I think he just would rather just bitch about it um, at the tournament. And then he said he's gonna. 
he's gonna fuck i'm sure this got definitely misconstrued but then he's gonna uh have more major wins than tiger when he's done with his career yeah i mean i, I don't know that i don't care it's like you have to have confidence in yourself i, I at get that it. level i get you it that's something you're shooting for right that was tiger's I, whole thing his number was always jack's number so why yeah. can't kepka have it and say they're not the same they're not the same person oh i didn't but you can ask anyone on tour. They're probably like, "My, I want to win as many majors as." Yeah, I think those guys have some realistic expectations. You don't think Rory has it in his head? He has to get past Tiger somehow. Yeah, maybe not at this stage in his career. Maybe you asked him five years ago. Yeah, that's for me. Ten years ago, sure. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they, everyone's. Yeah, of course, you want to chase Tiger and you want to chase Jack. So that's why I was I thinking, like, yeah. I, I, I don't. That I don't. And who knows? Some I know, but you just, just like you what? Just what does motivate? It probably could have been like you know, team team golf doesn't motivate you. What motivates you? Like, yeah, uh, beating Tiger's record. I'm more. Yeah. Than, I'm gonna have more than Tiger. That's me. Yeah, yeah. you just tie, what, you tie that quote into what he, else he said with the Ryder Cup. It's just like this guy's the biggest douchebag in the world. Well, and you couple it with all the other interviews he does. Yeah, you exactly. Just can't you can't do it. But that's fine. Yeah. That's just him. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, yeah, you're right. Uh, if he doesn't want to play, then don't play. I think it's going to make it more uncomfortable for people. I think they already are. Yeah. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's weird. And, uh, you know, not having Tiger there is going to hurt, I think, a little bit. Um, I think Phil will do a good job. Don't get me wrong. But um, Phil, Phil tends to make stuff about himself a little bit, too, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little thumb. You know, that little thumb. Of course he does. Yeah. It's just you know, yeah. You just go back to it. like that every every year. You, we have this conversation about Team USA just not being a team. You know, I yeah. That's why I'm like, you're right. They have on paper the best golfers in the world, but no question, not the you know, uh Do they have the best it, team? Yeah, just usually this for whatever reason the U.S. in the last twenty five years. Yeah does not perform well in team golf no maybe they don't do it enough maybe that's more of a thing growing up in europe yeah no, do more good, tournaments that way um it's such an individualized sport but like you know the college levels team golf at some yeah, yeah at some some scale right like mm -hmm. it's still individual matches i guess but you know at some level you're playing on a team you're representing a team right yeah so, so i don't know if that just gets lost in in the u.s because, I mean, I, you don't really do it in the U.S. You don't play yeah. those type of formats. No, it's just hard. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to walk in the next week and be like, Team USA is going to win. I, yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's the reason they do win. Because their team is just a bunch of idiots saying stupid shit. And for whatever reason, you know, the, the pressure's off and they just figured out a way. Bryson said today, like, he can't even hold a golf club because he's swinging fucking drivers so much right now. It's like, what are you doing, man? He's got a week. He's got a week to heal. You know? He's just like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> yeah, Stricker's probably, what did I, why did I get this year? Why did I get this year? <laughs> why couldn't I have gotten 2022? Oh, man. Oh, fuck. It's unbelievable, but yeah, it's gonna happen. You know, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it there's there's up. there's some sort of PGA event this week. There's I think the 2022 season's already starting this week. This week, I don't think it starts this weekend. I think it starts no? like the first week after of the Ryder Cup. Yeah, are you sure? I'm pretty sure it starts in October. The new the new tour season. I mean, whatever it is, it's not like the, the, the there's no off season. Not really. No, the guys will take their own off season. No, there's a, there's a tournament this weekend. Is it the, is it the PGA? Because there was a tournament last weekend too. No, it's a PGA PGA Tour, the Fortinet Championship at cool. Silverado Resort and Spa in Napa. Is it technically still this? Is it still the uh, same no, year? It's twenty it's for the twenty twenty two season. All right, here we go. And then we have Sanderson Farms Championship after the Ryder Cup. So there is there is PGA golf this week. I couldn't I couldn't name I couldn't tell you any of these fucking guys playing. No, these are guys. These are guys. The grind. These are guys are grinding. Yeah, there's yeah. there. Webb Simpson's playing. Okay. Lanto Griffin, yeah. John Rahm's playing. 
I, I take that back. Phil Mickelson's playing. I don't think Rom's Doug, gonna play Doug Gim's playing. Tringale's playing. No, he's got a tea time. Who, John Rom? Yeah, nine forty four. He's Damn, playing. Z- All right, maybe that's part of his warm up. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm not. I mean, I'm not making this up. There's, there's these guys are playing. There's, there's actually some decent names in the tournament. Max Holmes playing. Webb Simpson, Cameron Champ, Phil, Tringale, Doug Gim, Fratelli. Uh, yeah, there's Scott Stallings. There's some decent names playing. Okay, it's Tucker. Tucker, my <laughs> dog Tucker, my old man dog Tucker. HB3 is playing. Um, yeah, Sebastian. You know, so yeah, there's there's a decent amount of players playing. Surprise, surprise. PJ Golf for 2022 <laughs> starts this week. We're, we're back. <laughs> we're back in it. Up. Yeah, we're back in it just like that. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us for this episode of the Breakfast Balls podcast. If you like what you heard and like learning from our mistakes, please subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, please follow us at breakfastballs.podcast. Panda! Listen! How you stand is Black X6, Panda, what you see? Panda, Panda Swole, Panda, Salibar, Panda, and I'm the macho like Randy.